We purchased this Castle Doll House back in July of 2021 and started work in the spring of 2022. The focus of this video is the renovation of a room that will become the library. Previously, this room was a bedroom. It had real size pergo flooring, a cardboard ceiling, and some odd light fixtures. The castle had an overall smell, so we placed deactivated charcoal on paper plates in each room. The whole structure was then covered in a plastic tarp for about a week. Here you can see the original peaked windows. We would eventually change those. The ceiling, door, and baseboards were removed. We took out the wallpaper and removed the flooring. As a result, we damaged the particle board subflooring. The channel in the floor was used by the builder to run what looked like old phone wire for electricity. We cut pieces of wood to line the ceiling and floor. Here the ceiling is clamped and propped up while the glue dried. The flooring and the ceiling are now lined in this photo. The room was then primed and it's now ready for electricity. Next we wired the room. It will feature a chandelier, two sconces, and fireplace bulbs. The wallpapering was started as well as fitting in the windows. We squared off all of the peaks for the windows and needed to build frames for each one. Plexiglass was cut and glazed for the panes. Chipboard was cut from a Cricut machine and painted with brown acrylic paint. Exterior trims were added as well as a piece of gingerbread on the top and bottom to create a more castle appearance. The wallpaper was finished and a faux marble floor was put down. A faux tin ceiling was cut and needed many coats of paint. This is a new product for us and it was made of some type of foam. A ceiling medallion and chandelier were added next. For some reason, the door trim didn't want to match up. To make it fit, we had to glue the trim above the flooring which created a small gap. Our plan is to put a small piece of wood under the trim to hide the space. After squaring off the peaks, there was little room inside for crown molding and the top piece of interior trim. We hope that the curtains will cover the fact that they are missing. The baseboards were glued next. The left side of the room will have bookcases and a fireplace. To have them be more flush with the wall, we opted not to have baseboards behind them. Next, the curtains were installed and then the crown molding was glued and propped up for drying. Here is the room with the wooden supports removed. The room is finished except for artwork and accessories that will be added later once the castle is finished. The rest of the photos show different angles of the finished room. Here is a view from the outside looking in to see the light streaming through the windows. What was once one of the castle's bedrooms became gutted and then turned into the library. Mm -hmm. 